Are you a stock purist? Do you decide what loadouts to use based on the popularity of memes within the community rather than the weapon's actual viability? Are you into loud noises? If you said yes to any of the following, I have the guide for you. How yin's doing? I'm an Ian, and this is my TF2 Had a Kill Streak series, where we look at the best and worst TF2 has to offer, and I show you how to get a kill streak with it, because everything is a bad idea until it works. As Yins can tell from reading the title, we'll be covering the demo pan. So without further ado, let's get into it. The Frying Pan is a reskin of the stock Melee, and is acquired from owning a copy of Left 4 Dead 2 in your Steam library alongside Team Fortress 2. While the pan can be used as a reskin for all stock melee weapons with the exception of the Engineer's Wrench and the Spy's Knife, we'll be covering just the Demo Man's melee here today. Yes, I am aware there is an alternative reskin that can be used by Engineers and Spies called the Golden Frying Pan, however, I'm not a millionaire and most people will never actually use this thing whatsoever, so we will not be covering that particular weapon whatsoever. As for why I'm covering the Demo Pan today specifically, there are multiple reasons for that. First of all, I've already done a video for the fish, so doing a video for the scout's default melee again would seem a bit redundant to me. Secondly, if I were to try to cover every single stock melee in the game for all classes, this video would be over an hour long, and while I do like the idea of stretching this video out past the 8 minute mark for mid-roll ads, I have no desire to make the video longer than it needs to be beyond reaching that arbitrary threshold. Third, I believe the way each class approaches melee combat is so unique and distinct that they deserve their own videos on the matter, rather than being clumped together in some monster hour-long video. And the most important reason, number four, Demo Pan is a famous meme in the TF2 community making it much better clickbait in the thumbnail. If you've never heard of Demo Pan before reaching this video, hello, welcome to the TF2 community. Demo Pan was a meme that went viral back in 2011 and has been an iconic part of the TF2 community ever since. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you're interested in seeing where this whole joke got started. As for the frying pan stats, it does 65 damage and can randomly crit, meaning it has no downsides but also no bonuses, like all stock reskins. Since 65 damage is going to take at least two swings to kill anyone at full health, and the fact that this is a game where everyone has a gun, you will rarely see the frying pan being used in any serious capacity on most classes. This is because TF2 is an FPS, or first person shooter, which means everyone has a gun. This means the only time you're ever going to see a player pull out their melee is when they don't have time to reload or if they run out of ammo, with only a handful of unique exceptions. However, generally speaking, players will usually be able to kill you faster than you can switch weapons. As a result, the general consensus among players is that instead of trying to go in for a risky melee, it's better to fall back behind cover and reload your weapons. After all, most classes have some form of hit scan that ensure that they won't end up blowing themselves up with their enemy if they try to attack them with their ranged weapons. However, the Demo Man is a unique exception to this. You see, with the exception of his melee, he is exclusively using projectile-based weapons that explode and can cause self-harm. Meaning, if you wish to not blow yourself up as you kill your targets who are all up in your face, you will have to switch to melee to finish them off. The issue with this, however, is that the majority of the Demo Man's melee options are swords, which sacrifice the ability to be pulled out and switched to in a timely fashion in favor of improved combat potential. In fact, the only non-reskin weapon the Demo Man has that doesn't sacrifice switch speed is the Pain Train, which lets you capture the point at the same speed as a scout at the expense of making you take 10% more damage from bullets, making this great if bullets aren't being an issue but capping the point is. However, otherwise this weapon is just a straight downgrade from stock since its only beneficial trait is completely useless to getting a kill streak, so I cannot recommend it here. Maybe you could trick the enemy into thinking there's a lone scout on the point only to blow them up as Demo Man instead, but that's really just going to get you a few cheeky kills, not a kill streak. The frying pan is best used amongst players who prefer to switch between their various weapons rather frequently, hence why going pure stock as Demo Man is unironically a very popular playstyle in the TF2 community. You see, the stock sticky launcher is arguably the most powerful weapon in the game, and the grenade launcher is basically apples to oranges with the iron bomber, which is so similar to the stock grenade launcher that if they were any more similar, that they would basically be reskins in all but name. So if you just want something to smack people in the face with to avoid blowing yourself up with your own explosives, the frying pan is unquestionably the best weapon in the game for demo man. 
And while that is the most effective reason to use this weapon, it's not why you clicked on this video, is it? No, Yins want to see how to get kills with a pan directly. Well then, if that's the what you want, I have three routes of which you can take to do so, and I only recommend two of them. The one I advise against is Pure Demo Knight. The reasons I advise against going Pure Demo Knight with the frying pan are honestly quite easy to explain. First of all, the biggest draw of using the pan over the other weapons that Demo Man has at his disposal ceases to exist since weapon switch speed ceases to be a thing since you are restricted to melee at that point. Meanwhile, the biggest drawback of the swords, their increased deploy and holster time, cease to be a factor as well for the exact same reasons. Worse still, for those of you trying to recreate the traditional demo pan meme, the booties were not actually released into the game till after the original video that the meme stems from was created, meaning if you're going full demo pan, you're not being a true demo pan. Indeed, the most accurate recreation of the traditional demo pan is with the charge and charge and stock grenade launcher, since those were the weapons most likely used in the video. Hold on a sec, let me just double check this. Okay, yeah, the weapon loadout shown in the original video is the charge and charge, the frying pan, and the primary weapon is never actually shown whatsoever. So when you decide to go demo pan, pick whatever grenade launcher you prefer. I prefer stock since I have a strange, but if you like the iron bomber, by all means, if you love double donks, the loose cannon, and if you just really hate sentry nests and don't want to use a sticky bomb launcher, the lock and load is right for you. Regardless of what primary you prefer to use, going Hybrid Knight is honestly quite simple to understand. You simply lob grenades at your opponent until you see a good opportunity to charge in with your melee and get a glorious melee kill. When it comes to what shields you want to use, I recommend the Charge and Charge, both because it's what was used in the original Demo Pan meme, and because it makes you far more durable than you otherwise would be as Demo Man allowing you to tank explosives that you would otherwise die to as you retreat back to a health pack after getting your melee kill in. If you find that you want more damage in your melee attacks, however, the Splendid Screen is a fun alternative, and if you wish for a greater control over the direction you're moving mid-charge, the Tide Turner is ideal for you. However, if you truly care more about mobility than durability, the Sticky Jumper is right for you. I have a whole video on a Sticky Jumper if you want my comprehensive thoughts on that weapon specifically, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. However, I will briefly go over it here. The Sticky Jumper is an amazing mobility tool allowing you to traverse the map more easily than even a scout, making this the perfect tool for those of you who wish to go spawn camping. Although you'll usually be getting your kills with the launcher if you're playing in any serious capacity, which, given that you're trying to get melee kills in a game where everyone has a gun, seems kind of unlikely. All in all, I give the Demo Pan a perfection out of 10. It knows what it does and does it well without being overshadowed by its alternative melee options, whilst also not being overshadowed itself. So unless you want to try out that new weapon drop you just got or are going full Demo Knight, it's hard to go wrong with the trusty old frying pan. That's all for now, like the video if you did, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one, I've been an Ian, and this has been my TF2 How to Kill Streak Guide to the Demo Pan. Thank you all for watching.